Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to have a look at Love Will Tear Us Apart by Joy Division. So to start with, we're going to have a look at the introduction for the song. And for the introduction for this particular song, we're only going to be playing one chord. We're just going to be playing a standard A chord. And there's not really much to teach about the song, but the most interesting part about it is the rhythm of how you play it. And I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. It's going to sound like this. I'll do that one more time. So to start the riff off, we're going to be at the second fret of the D string, and that's going to be an E note. We're going to play that twice. Also, it's worth mentioning at this point, those two notes, you can give them a little lead up, and that would sound like this. So I'd play the note an extra two times before I actually get into the riff, and that's just a little lead in sometimes I like to do when I play the song live. From here, we're then going to go to the 4th fret of the D string, with our ring finger this time. We're then going to go up to the 5th fret, then back to the 4th fret, then back to the 2nd fret. So far it sounds like this. Then we're going to hit the open D string, let it ring out, and then we're going to land on the 2nd fret of the A string. Then we're going to play that open D string again, and then we're going to let ring an open A string after that. The riff sounds like this. You're simply going to repeat that phrase twice. So now we're going to have a look at the main progression for the song, and this is simply going to be a four chord sequence. It's going to sound like this. Alright, so let's talk about what I was doing there. I'm starting on an E minor chord. Just our standard E minor, with our index finger on the 2nd fret of the A string, and our middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D string, and the rest of the notes open. And then going to a D chord, and I'm doing that little riff. So what I'm doing here is, I'm starting the D chord like we usually do, then I'm bringing in my pinky finger right here to play the 3rd fret of the high E string. Then I'm taking it off again. Then I'm taking off my middle finger at the 2nd fret of the E string. And I'll play that a couple times. From there, I'm going to go to a B minor bar chord, just the standard B minor bar chord, the second fret of the A string, and then I'm going to go to an A chord. Slowly, it's going to sound like this. as well that when I'm playing that I'm doing interesting little rhythm parts going from the B minor to the A and that's just personal preference you don't have to do that but I choose to play that rhythmically like that.
So after we come out of the third and final chorus, we're then going to play another instrumental section like we've played before. We're simply going to be playing that A chord for four bars this time instead of eight. And after we do that, we're then going to jump to a D chord, and we're going to play that D chord over and over again, and that's going to count as our outro, and that's all there is to the song. Okay guys, so this has been my tutorial on Level Terrace Part by Joy Division. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.